Hi guys, welcome again to a new video. So for this video, we are going to talk about this thing right here. This is the Real Techniques silicone 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 liner brush. Ayan, ganito siya. Ganito siya kalaki basically. So kung tatapat natin siya sa aking kamay, this is how it looks like. I got this from Watsons in December. I was so happy nung nakita ko siya sa Watsons because I've been thinking of buying this since I think um 2013. So Anong taon na? <laughs> Four years later ko pa lang siya nabili. So, this is how it looks like. Um, I got this for 450 if you're wondering. The last time I went to Watson's, hindi ko na to nakita. But I'm pretty sure they're actually stocking it every now and then. And I'm also pretty sure hindi lahat ng Watson stores meron nito. But if you're from Zebu, I, Zebu? If you're from Zebu, I got this sa second branch ng Watson's sa Ayala Center Cebu. So, ayan. So, this is how it looks like. The tip is silicone, basically. So, ayan. The idea is, kapag ito yung gagamitin mo, maliban sa, pasensya na, marumi siya. <laughs> maliban sa, um, yung point niya is, talagang straight na, it gives you, like, a good angle to, like, you know, draw your, draw? To, like, draw your line. Um, isa pang advantage nito is, hindi siya maaksaya sa eyeliner. Kaya ang gustong gusto ko to kasi gustong gusto kong gumamit ng gel liner. Um, I, th I feel like mas comfortable akong gumamit ng gel liner whenever I do someone else's makeup and also kapag uh, ginagamit ko siya sa aking um, mata. So, ang maganda dito is hindi siya maaksaya sa gel liner. So, let's say for example um, kasi yung mga mumurahing gel liner, madali lang naman sila mag expire or tumigas. But if you have, I think I heard yung sa MAC na black track. Matagal na nag -e expire yun. So, this is actually going to be, or ito. Ano ba? <laughs> this is going to be a very good product to use on that one. Kasi, yun nga, hindi siya maaksaya sa gel liner. So, whenever I use it, parang dinadamihan ko yung paglagay. Kasi, it doesn't abs absorb, it doesn't absorb the product. If you notice yung silly sponge, it works like a silly sponge. Kasi hindi niya ina-absorb yung product. But what happens is, nagda-dry out siya. So, just like this one. Ito yung nangyayari. Kapag kakunti lang yung product, nakukunin ko. Ayan. So, madali kasi siyang mag-dry out. So, yung ginagawa ko, dinadamihan ko siya. Para medyo mas fluid yung line. Aray, hindi niya nakikita. Para mas fluid yung line na ipoproduce niya. Ayan. So, this one, ang ginamit kong gel liner dito is itong from Daiso. So, yun yung isang advantage niya na nakikita ko. Isa pang advantage na is, hindi siya mahirap linisin. Like, kapag ka, um, especially kapag ka marami kang eyeshadows or eyeliners, maraming tao kang gagawa ng eyeliner. Yung parang, hindi mo na siya kailangang hugasan, tapos hihintayin pa siyang mag-dry. Hindi mo na kailangan maghintay ang you know, a couple of minutes or a couple of hours para malinis siya. Instantaneous yung pagiging malinis niya. Ayan! Sada! Malinis na uli siya. Tayo dito. Kikita niyo ba? Yun lang, hindi siya kasi ni opaque ng ordinary brush. Kapag uh, ginamit mo siya, feeling ko kasi, yun nga, nagdo-dry out siya agad. So, kailangan either, kailangan either damihan mo yung product na gagamitin mo, or bilisan mo yung pag-apply. Pero ganun din. Wala pa rin siya magagawa. Kita nyo. Okay, so, hayan. Actually, okay naman yung application niya. Kaya lang yun nga, medyo struggle siya ng konti kapag ka ito yung ginamit mo kasi hindi siya kumukuha ng as much product as like, you know, a regular eyeliner. Other than that, it's actually very good. Um, this isn't the one that I'm using um, more often kasi ito yung pinakamadaling gamitin. So, ito yung pinaka-convenient for me na dalhin anywhere I go. 
what I didn't like about it, yun nga, it dries out the product um, upon application. Tapos, I, I think it's just a, a little bit too expensive for an eyeliner brush kasi... Yeah, 450 din to, diba? Kapag ka pumunta ka sa, sa Divisoria or sa Shopee, I'm pretty sure so 450 mo, makakakuha ka na light ng isang set ng brushes. If I'm going to rate this 1 to 10, I, I think I'm gonna be giving this like a 6. A 6 kasi, o oh, diba, for years kung hindi tayo, 6 lang yung rate ko sa kanya. 6 kasi, um, medyo mahal siya. Tsaka, hindi ko masyadong gusto yung application niya kasi nga, it dries out the product upon application. Tsaka, dapat ko siyang, nilalagay ko siya sa isang special na casing sa takot na baka matanggal to or ano, kasi parang feeling ko parang, hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya, med, med, matibay naman siyang tingnan, matibay naman siya sa hawak, pero you'll never know, right? Especially kapag ka, yung mga stock mo nasa loob na ng bag mo, tapos hindi mo na alam kung ano nangyayari doon. So, ayokong ma-surprise na parang, baka pagbukas ko ng bag ko isang araw parang, wala nang wala nang ulo yung brush ko wala nang ulo yung 450 worth na brush ko ayoko nang ganun so yun lang if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet i'm gonna be grateful kung magsa-subscribe ka you will not only see beauty videos here every now and then you will see travel videos and also videos related to food and health and everything that starts with letter f Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again on our next Makeup Monday video. Bye!